So I've had an unwavering bear versus an unwavering bull to start the show today. How would you describe yourself as we make the turn here to the second half? We have been a lot more bullish. We really have been all year, and we remain bullish going into the second half of the year. I think really what you're seeing is the economy continues to be in a better place than people expect. The consumer is still spending. You're seeing GDP revisions are going higher. Earnings actually are not falling a cliff like people expected. And, you know, you're finally starting to see the broadening out of this rally, and I think that's a lot more indicative that there's still room to run in these stock markets rather than just this magnificent seven that's been holding it up this whole this whole way. Just because earnings projections are what they are doesn't mean they're going to live up to those projections, though. What, what makes you believe they're right? Well, I think ultimately it's going to come down to is the consumer still spending, right? And people have been worried the consumer is going to fall off the cliff, but that is a majority of our GDP here in the United States. Mm -hmm. And I just don't see that falling off a cliff anytime soon, which is really what will affect these companies. You're saying wages are continuing to stay stable, which is keeping people spending. Um, people's uh, savings has not come down as fast as it was expected. There's also about $7.6 trillion in unearned income. So people have money in cash. There's actually record levels of cash on hand. That cash finally paying them some interest. So that's money on top of the wages that are there, and it's going to keep this consumer going. So you don't think that the market's too expensive at the multiple it's trading at right now? Parts of the market are, yes. And I think that's where you don't want to be chasing a lot of your, like, long duration, especially like your mega cap tax. So you think mega cap tax are too expensive? I do. Okay. So what, what's going to happen to them in the second half then? I just don't think they're going to outperform to the same magnitude they have been. I, I don't think they're falling off a cliff. I'm not like calling for a bubble or anything like that, but I'm not actively adding to those categories right now. We absolutely want to own them, but I think there's plenty of other areas in the markets right now. I think if you look at like industrials, for example, you look at materials, I think there's other sections that are going to benefit from this whole idea of the U.S. is onshoring and there's a lot of infrastructure boom that's going to continue to happen. And I think there's a lot more upside potential in other areas of the stock. So you right think now. that the catch up trade is going to be legit, that these areas that have underperformed but have started started breathing a little bit heavier as we've, you know, over the last few weeks, there's life there. Absolutely. Yes. And but you don't think that mega cap tech is going to fall back at all? That is a big question. I mean, some of these companies have gotten overly expensive, and I just don't think I can justify it at a certain point in time to continue adding money there. As a long term investor, you absolutely want to own those things. But no, it's, it's really, you know, when you're trading 50 times earnings where the S&P is trading less those seven companies that are doing really well, 15 times earnings, like why pay that kind of multiple when there's plenty of other areas in the markets that can continue to work out? Well, I mean, people would give you a long list, right? They would say, well, I'm kind of paying for some safety. I'm paying for great balance sheets. I'm paying where the growth is. I'm paying for AI-related growth, which we're still trying to figure out exactly how enormous that's going to be. That doesn't resonate? And it very well could be. I mean, the excitement has been artificial intelligence, right? That why, that's why everybody's rushing to the mega cap, ta mega cap tech trade. Um, but I think the question is how much of that has been priced in. I think what happens in the stock markets is people tend to overestimate what's happening in the short term, underestimate what's happening in the long term. And I think AI is going to be a huge benefit for the economy and a huge benefit for your tech companies. But short term, I think a lot of that's probably already been priced in.